in the shadows of a Europe dominated by Nazism. There were many that risked their lives and the lives of their families to save the Jews persecuted and rounded up by the racial laws established by the Hitler regime. All of the documents that we had, the identity cards, they wrote Jewish race on the cover. We lost our civil rights. We couldn't do anything. We didn't even have food stamps for the rationing. Along with all of these laws that did not allow us to do anything, I got expelled from school. But the school principal also got expelled, because he was Jewish. Whoever worked at the bank, lawyers, doctors, doctors could not assist anyone, only Jews. Yad Vashim, Museum and Archive of the Holocaust, located in Jerusalem, remembers all of those men and women that snatched so many Jews from death and honors them with the title of the Just Ones of Israel. They are people that have obeyed the call of their own conscience. They acted in order to save the Jews in a moment in which the outcome of the war was unknown and meanwhile acted out of complete self-disinterest. For the Hebrew community of Rome, October 16, 1943, was an especially painful day. More than a thousand Roman Jews were deported in one great roundup. Similar operations were repeated in all of Europe. The morning of October 16 was awful. I'm still able to picture the scene. They took them away in big trucks. It was a large raid. They entered homes and took the families away. Women, the elderly, children, the sick. The German authorities had promised to respect them in exchange for the handing over of 50 kilograms of gold. In a great gesture of solidarity, the whole city collaborated in the acquisition of the established quantity. They asked for 50 gold kilos of the Jewish community, but it is impossible to collect 50 gold kilos in the little time that we had. Without having publicized this to anyone, the city of Rome collaborated in all possible ways, with gold teeth, with a ring, with whatever they had. We managed to collect the 50 gold kilos. However, the promise of security was not maintained, and the Jews were obliged to go into hiding to try and escape certain death. The action of Pope Pius XII was fundamental in these difficult moments. The hidden documents of the Secret Service also tell us the motive for which Hitler hated the Holy Father. Because he was hiding Jews, especially since he gave orders to the convents and sanctuaries and would even hide them in the Vatican. Nascondendoli nello stesso Vaticano. Here in Rome, they opened all the doors to all of the convents. The Vatican was full. There were people who were even sleeping in the hallways. This is me. I am Claudio de la Serra, born June 18, 1931. I am Jewish. I was saved in the time of the Germans by the Marist brothers at the school of St. Leo the Great. We were calm in the convents. The help that we, Jewish Italians or foreigners that lived here, received was exceptional. In Assisi, we had almost 6,000, 7,000 war refugees from southern Italy. Among the refugees, it was easy to hide hundreds of Jews. <clears throat> Many lives were saved. To dare to help the Jews supposed putting oneself in real and grave danger. May 15, 1945, I was arrested. I found myself with the police at my doorstep. The Germans entered and deported from this convent 33 women. My mother was among them. Understand? The mother superior, Sister Esther Busnelli, was arrested because she had done something that she should not have done. They brought me to a concentration camp in Perugia. One must understand the risk that this entailed, the risk taken by Pope Pius XII, who was able to save 8,000 people. 